We reported the results of our first large-scale OLIG study um, back in 2017, which was published in PLOS Genetics. A couple of key learnings from that study was that A, plasma proteins are under significant genetic control, and B, the method lends itself very well for combining data with other clinical cohorts. So we realized a strong potential for using gene to protein relationships to find promising drug targets from this work, but it was also the starting point of the Scala Consortium as we started to reach out to other PIs to form a global network of PIs. And today, around 30 research institutes have joined the Scallop Consortium and they all have OLINK and genetic data from almost 60,000 patients or controls. Even if Scallop has been running now for four years, we still welcome new members to the consortium uh, who will bring different types of data and different types of research questions to the consortium. And, um, to, to find the drug targets from proteomics and genetics, we use a method known as Mendelian randomization. So this method has already been used in genetics for the past 10 years or so, and it has been used to prove things like cholesterol causes an increased risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Mendelian randomization allows us to separate relationships that are causative from those that are just correlative. The secret is that instead of directly comparing protein levels between patients with disease and healthy controls, we use the gene variants themselves that, that cause higher cholesterol and we quantify their effect on disease risk. So in, in our 2020 paper in Nature Metabolism, we showed that Mendelian randomization can be systematically applied to find new drug targets for many proteins and many different diseases. An even more recent example is a finding on a protein called interleukin-18 and lung cancer. And, and this is work that we posted at Medical Archives as a, as a preprint. And what we showed was that people who had genetically elevated protein levels of this IL-18 are actually less likely to develop lung cancer. And if they do, they have a slower rate of disease progression. So IL-18 is, is present in lung tissue, it's present in lung tumors, uh, where it can boost the cancer-killing activities of the immune system uh, via uh, T-cells and NK-cells. So, so what this result tells us is that if we can somehow increase the activity of IL-18 in the tumor, it should actually promote shrinkage of the tumor and, and, and be a new immunotherapy for cancer. The development also with the Olinx new platform built on next generation sequencing, this allows measurements of 1500 proteins and later also 3000 proteins and that tells us that Scallop will be very relevant also in future studies.